These are the shoes that raced along that broke the record for 800 metres, and they belong to Charles Hampson, the old Oxford Blue. He treats his body as a sensitive machine which doesn't function properly if it's cold. So he wears warm clothing and then takes an easy lap to get his muscles into smooth running order. Style is cultivated to give a natural, easy and swift action. The trunk should be slightly forward so that the arms can work comfortably underneath the chest and so help the body along. Running on the toes and raising the knees well in front of the body saves valuable time and lengthens the stride. Euclid said that a straight line is the shortest distance between two points, so keep to it. When style and stamina have been attained, then speed is improved by daily practice, gradually increasing it so that no strain is felt. It is here that the early training is so evident and a beautiful, clean, rhythmic movement is the result. There's one fault, however, to avoid, trying to extend the natural length of your stride, like this. When a champion reckons in tenths of seconds, every phase of racing from start to finish is studied. Mr. Hampson certainly doesn't lose any time at the start with his quick and forceful push-off. One of his favourite speed increases is quickening into fast action at a certain line on the track. The slow motion shows it even more clearly. Apart from speed, the technique of racing has golden rules that help you to win. Keep your head and never pass a man on a bend. You're only running further than you need and in consequence lose time. But when you do pass him in the straight, do it by a sudden spurt. Watch again. Having passed him, keep up the sprinting action until you breast to the tape. Scientific training and concentrated effort made Charles Hampson British champion and enabled him to run 800 metres faster than anyone else in the world. Mm -hmm.